Adding audio effects in Windows Live Movie Maker can be a tricky task for two reasons. Number one, the program doesn't provide you with any audio effects to begin with. And number two, if you're working on a project that already has one audio layer for your voice and another audio layer for your music background, even if you do have audio effects, where are you going to put them? So in this short video, we're going to solve those problems as they present themselves. First, let's deal with the fact that Windows Live Movie Maker doesn't have any audio effects to begin with. Well, that's going to be pretty easy because you can always get audio effects off the internet by purchasing them or even better, getting them for free. The great site that I talked about in some of my older videos is a site called Soundbible where you can find a variety of royalty free audio effects that you can use in your videos. Once you find and download the effects that you want for your video, you can use them in Windows Live Movie Maker the same way you would use any sort of audio file. For example, right here I have two audio files which are audio effects that I downloaded and now I want to add them to a project that I'm working on in Windows Live Movie Maker. To import them to Windows Live Movie Maker, obviously you simply highlight your audio files click on them and then drag and drop them into the program. Now I want to use these audio effects in the moments of the video when the transitions appear. So to do that I'm simply going to click on them and drag them to the positions where I want them to start and manipulate them any way I want. So after positioning the audio effects to the certain points on the timeline where I want them and of course after cutting out certain parts of them that I didn't want, I get this. And once you're satisfied with what you have, you can simply save your video and there you have it. Now let's deal with the bigger problem in the picture. So you've downloaded your audio effects from the internet and you're working on a project in Windows Live Movie Maker that looks something like this. First you have your visual layer, then you have one audio layer containing your background music and a second audio layer containing your voiceover. But where the heck are you going to put your audio effects? Well, in this case it's a bit trickier but still not impossible. So let's see how to do this the right way. So first thing you want to do is save the audio from this project. Not the whole movie but just the audio. So you're going to click on Save Movie and click on Just Audio. Windows Live Movie Maker allows you to save the audio as a M4A file or a WMA file. So in my case I'm going to go with the WMA file and I'm going to name it Audio Effects. Then I'm simply going to click Save and wait for it to finish. So once your audio file saves, the next thing you want to do is get rid of all the audio layers that you have in your project. So we're going to click on the green layer and hit delete on our keyboard. Same goes for the red layer that's containing our voiceover. Now you're going to go to the location where you just saved your audio. In my case, it's my desktop. You're going to click on it and import it to Windows Live Movie Maker simply by dragging and dropping it in there. So this way, instead of having two separate audio layers, one for the voiceover and one for the background music, we have one single audio layer containing both. Obviously, we have a second audio layer completely unoccupied and ready to be used for our audio effects. But now you gotta be extra careful on how you add those audio effects. In this case, we can't simply drag and drop them in here like we did earlier, as that would add another green audio layer. What we want is a red audio layer that is usually intended for speech. So instead of finding our audio effects and dragging and dropping them in here, what we want to do is click on record speech, click on the little arrow next to it, and then click on add sounds. Then you're simply going to browse for the particular audio effect or audio effects that you want to use in this project. Select it and hit open. Now as you can see that adds a red layer containing an audio effect instead of speech. In my particular case I just wanted one audio effect for this video. So now all that's left is to edit it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, get rid of the part that I don't want. I want to position it to the end of my video. And now let's see how it sounds. Hello YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey. Okay, so it's nothing special, but you get the point. Once you're finished editing, you can save the movie by selecting the presets or settings that you want. Logically, you can use this method to add even more audio layers in Windows Live Movie Maker, but have in mind that you might lose some quality if you overdo it. Anyways, thanks for watching people, hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a like and share it on your social media profiles. If you already haven't, why not subscribe? And as always, I will see you in the next one.